Hi guys, how are you? Keith Kon. Keith Kon means how are you? So today I am going to record my last lesson from Rovin, my last Lebanese Arabic lesson. I just recorded an MSA lesson. So I'm going to repeat the same in Lebanese as usual. So I'm going to start by saying um, tonight is my last night here in Rovin. So I am feeling a bit sad. Okay, so Lyon, Lyon means today. So or we can also say Elayle tonight. Lyon today or Elayle. Elayle means this night. So Elayle, Echir Layle, Echir last Layle. So look at the difference. The first Layle had an L, L. The second one doesn't. So Elayle, Echir. Layli. This night is the last night. So the second one we will not put il to it. So layli akhir layli ili for me. Ili for me. Layli akhir layli ili for me. Hon here. Hon bi rovin in rovin. Again. Layli, Echir Layli, Eli, B, Rovin. Anna, Zalene, Shway. Zalene. Anna, I or I am. Because in English, we do, uh, in Arabic, we don't have is. So we just say I sad or I am sad. It's just the same. I sad. So, Anna, Zalene, Zal. Lene shway a bit. Anna Zalene Shway. Because I was very happy here, let's say it. La inno La Inno. La inno means because. La inno because Anna I kinit. Anna kinit. I was. Anna kinit tir mopsuta. كتير كتير يعني a lot very مبسوطة مبسوطة أنا كنت كتير مبسوطة هون I was very happy here again أنا كنت كتير مبسوطة هون but if I was a guy I wasn't gonna say مبسوطة I was gonna say مبسوط Mabsud. So the A sound in the end, Mabsuta, makes it feminine. So Mabsuta, feminine. Mabsud, masculine. And the same applies to Zalene. So I said Zalene, Ana Zalene Shway. I am a bit sad. If I was a guy, I was going to say Ana Zalene Shway. I'm finding it hard to look in the lens because it's a selfie, but I'll try to keep looking instead of looking at myself. Okay, um, what was I gonna say? So, let's say I'm gonna miss this place. Let me break it down. So, means I will, like will in English. I will miss. is miss. I will miss. For Hel Mahal Hel Mahal Place Hel Mahal Place So when I say in English I'm gonna miss this place I don't add anything in between So I say I'm gonna miss And then I say this place In Arabic actually you say I'm gonna miss for this place So Rah ishti La Hel Mahal Il Hello La Hel Mahal Il Hello This beautiful place Let me add something I was saying la hal mahal. Even this hal mahal can be br uh, can be broken down because it's like I'm saying I'm gonna miss to this the place. The word hal that I'm saying it's um, uh, it's like putting together haida. It's the abbreviation of haida plus il this haida plus. Il, the. It's like in English you're saying, I'm gonna miss this, the place, which doesn't make sense, but it, in Arabic it does make sense. So let me repeat. Rah ishte, 
I'm gonna miss. La for hell, which is Haida plus L. Actually, we can also say Hel Mahal or Haidal Mahal. Haidal Mahal, it's not abbreviated. But Hel Mahal, it's abbreviated. So, Haidal Mahal, this place. I'm gonna miss the C. Rah Ishte. I'm gonna miss. Rah Ishte. Lal Bahar. Rah Ishte. Lal Bahar al Hello. Anna Kent. كتير مبسوطة. I was very happy. أنا كنت كتير مبسوطة. I don't know if I already said that. Um, I'm gonna miss also the birds here, the seagulls. It's the most thing that I like here in Rovin. So I'm gonna say رح اشتي. I'm gonna miss لا for تيور. تيور is birds. In Nauras is the type of birds, which is the seabirds or seagulls. So, رح اشتي لا تيور النوراس. تيور is plural. The singular of تيور is طير. So I can say طير النوراس, one seabird or one seagull. طير النوراس or تيور النوراس in the plural. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna miss the voice of these birds. So, رح اشتي لا صوت. صوت voice or sound رح اشتاق لا for صوت صوت the sound صوت تيور النورس the sound of the seabirds رح اشتاق للناس ناس is people you see the sound of the birds so رح اشتاق للناس I'm gonna miss the people it's always very busy and crowded which is very nice so رح اشتاق للناس the people, ناس, وراح اشتي للسواح. In English, uh, in Arabic, sorry, سواح is tourists. سواح. The singular is سيح. سيح. The plural is سواح. So, راح اشتي للسواح. I'm gonna miss the tourists. And finally, I want to say, I hope I return to this beautiful place next year. I really hope so. So, I will say, Inshallah. Inshallah is, I hope. But literally, if we break Inshallah, it means, Inshallah, which means, if God wills. But we really don't mean if God wills or anything like that. And it has nothing to do with... Uh, uh, I don't know being religious or using religious expressions no it just means I hope that's how we say I hope in Arabic we can also say bit amal which is literally I hope bit amal but um, I like to use inshallah which is the same meaning although it's not literally the same meaning okay inshallah or bit amal inshallah irja or bit amal irja irja means I return so, inshallah irja, I hope I return. Inshallah irja, sintijay. So, sine in Arabic, sine means year. Ljay, coming. So, sintijay, next year. Okay? So, inshallah irja, sintijay. And what else can I add? And that's it. Let me show you a final look of this place that I adore. Actually, let me say, I adore this place. So you can say, I really love this place. And a ktir peb, ktir peb. I love a lot. Ktir is a lot. Peb, I love. And a ktir peb. Hel balad, or hel madine, this country. Hel balad, or hel madine, this city. Again, you remember? I said I just told you about the hell, which means haydal or haydil. So, ana bhab ktir hel madine or haydil madine. It's the same thing. Or hel barat or haydal balad. But if I want to say I really, really like it, like I adore it, I'm gonna say ana baasha hel balad. Baasha. Literally, I I am infatuated by, which means. I really like a place or a person. It doesn't have to be a person, okay? But um, 
Actually, in Arabic, we can also say like "ana ba'bad hal 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 shakhs" or "ba'bad hal balad." Like I adore, literally, I adore "ba'bad hal balad." But you don't really mean like you really adore like something again, religiously speaking. No, but like you just—it's a way to express that you really like a place a lot. So if you really love someone, you can tell them "ba'badak," like I really love you, or "ba'badik." I really love you. That's feminine. If you're talking to a girl. And that's it. I want to say thank you so much. Merci ktir, the Lebanese way. We can say shukran ktir, but I use merci ktir much more. Merci ktir, and hope to see you tomorrow from London. I will be back in London, inshallah. I hope. And I will record a lesson from there. It's not gonna be as sunny as here, but apparently it is sunny. So hopefully I can record a lesson from a from a nice location in London. Okay. Merci ktir, shukran, and ma'asalame. Bye. Yalla bye. The Lebanese way. Yalla bye.